Mm. Oh, yeah, it's delicious. Mm. Mm. Hello there. Caught me out there. I'll just put this down. Nice bowl of oatmeal. Now, that brings to mind a story from Scotland, would you believe? And, yeah, porridge is quite popular in Scotland. Although apparently it was brought over by the Romans, but who knows, who cares? Fact is, it's delish. And a nice drink as well. So, why don't you just sit back, relax, get yourself a drink or something nice to eat, or both. And while I tell you the story of the farmer's wife of Lothian. Scotland is a beautiful place. Full of graceful hills and beautiful scenery, clear locks that you can see to the bottom of. They're a very hardy people, tough, and they live in, so in the highlands. It's rough and tough out there, as are the people have to be. And with that comes a lot of superstition. Now, whether this is true or not, I'm not here to say one way or the other. Because of the superstition, because of the wild environment, the isolation, these superstitions take root. I'm going to tell you a story many years ago about a farmer's wife in Lothian. If you're sitting comfortably, I will begin. Life, as I said, in the Highlands is pretty tough. And the people who live there are equally tough, working day in, day out, and the farm life, not easy. The soil isn't that great. And he's tending his cattle and various other things around the house. Then he has to repair the place. His wife is getting food together. They have children they need looking after. So, put it bluntly, it was everyone's in their own little bubble working. One night, Whilst combing the hair of the children, the wife is stolen by fairies. And the farmer just couldn't understand. Why would they take his wife? She's a reasonable woman like any other. She isn't anything special. Why the fairies would want her is beyond him. Maybe in a previous life or secretly she's some kind of royalty or something like that. He didn't know, and it bothered him, to say the least. And he missed his wife, because he'd got enough on getting the farm going, and alone the children and cleaning the house. So he decided to see a wise old man. The wise old man, Angus his name, by the way, sat and scratched his long grizzled beard. Aye, you're wanting to know about the fairies folk, are ye? Aye, that I do. Well... You'll have to wait, and they take all your courage, mine. None of this running about and hiding. Church wanna help you on this one. What you got to do? Wait until the fairy procession comes along, and your wife will be in that procession. You interrupt it and demand a return, and you're a wee man. You'll have your wife back. But I need all your courage. Aye. And so it was. On Halloween, I forgot to tell you, it had to be on Halloween. The midnight hour struck. You could hear the church bell. Bong! 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 Etc. And out he crept. And in the furs, Heather to you and me, he snuggled down. And he could smell the earthy smells of the earth. What we call the earth song. The smell of the heather and peat. And, uh, Unfortunately, the cattle had passed the day before, so it was a little, little, um, <clears throat> pipe. Anyway, he lay there, took a sip from his flask of whiskey, and he waited. Then he heard in the distance, La, 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 la. Is that, could that be the fairies? Ah, it was from the tavern across the way, way away. The wind had carried it. But then he heard something like harp music. And there was a luminous glow in the dark. And he thought, yeah. Was that, was that, uh, Bragi tripping over an axe? No. 
Oh, again. It was the fairies, and they were coming along. There were silver sounds of silver bells, beautiful coloured lights, and the most beautiful people he'd ever seen with long blonde hair. Their ears were slightly pointed, and they were about three foot tall. But in the middle, towering above him, it seemed, was his wife. She didn't look happy. And as they processed along, fear gripped him like a cold sweat down his spine. I'll never, I've, I've got to do this. And he was reasoning with himself why he should do this. But by the time he got there, it had almost passed. And as he stood up to demand his wife, they were just disappearing through a, into a hill. So poor old Angus never got his wife back as she was to spend eternity in the land of the fairies. Now, what that would be like, I don't know. Surely it's better than uh, the heath and heather and hard work of the Highlands. Maybe wrong. But next time on Halloween, if you hear tinkling of bells, it's the fairy procession. So, on that, I shall raise a toast to the little folk. Blessings. And I shall wish you all a happy, prosperous time. Till we meet again. Bye.